Hi everyone, it's Jack. This is my 25th video for the channel, if you can believe this. I know technically there are 26 videos, but well, I don't really count one of them. It wasn't part of my plans. Anyway, this is 25, it's a special number, by YouTube standards at least. And it's also good because, well, it marks the end of my phase two, as it were, of this channel. So, guess I'm making progress. But, well, it's also the point at which I'm taking a break from making videos, just like I did after my 10th video. Hopefully not as much of a break, though. I don't know how many of you will actually watch this, though I'm sure those of you who've been watching from the start have, well, some questions. You know, questions like, Hey Jack, I noticed you were starting to improve the quality of your videos some. You know, you started commissioning an artist to make thumbnails for your videos, you know, preview images, and then you put those in your video. Now we haven't seen that in a while, or it's inconsistent. And uh, what happened to your intro, you know, where you're doing a laugh and ripping off the haunted mansion? Nowadays, you're just putting a picture up there, and there's no intro, barely even an outro often. Why is every video you put out now just a bunch of pumpkins with your name on it? Eh, that's fair. So is a question like, why are you putting videos out so infrequently now? Or so rarely, or, you know, just far apart from each other. It's all fair, and the short answer is, you know, after Christmas 2021, or even in the ballpark of Christmas 2021, I and other artists usually took a break, right? Because it was a rough year. Every year since the pandemic started has been rough, but it was just a rough time, and I needed a break, so I got it. But anyway, after that I suppose I figured I'd jump right back into it, but, well, there were a combination of actors, but one of my videos getting so little views and just the channel growth being very slow, and meanwhile I'm seeing all these tweets about, oh, I got a hundred subscribers now, or oh, I have two hundred subscribers, or, or oh, I have thousands of subscribers now. You know, it gave me what you might call imposter syndrome, like, oh, what am I doing here? Or why am I making this? What if I actually suck at this, you know? And it didn't help that, you know, winter is just kind of a depressing time a lot of the time for me. Once it hits, it's cold, it's dark, and especially in the middle of a pandemic, there's just so much that gets stolen away from you. <sighs> I had plans, you know, and a lot of those plans had to be either put on hold or just cancelled outright because, because pandemic, because winter, because things just got put on the back burner. And now, well, now I'm starting to make progress towards them. Now things are starting to come together and I feel better, but, well, yeah, I have been progressing a little, even with that. 
videos seem to come out very sporadically. I had originally planned to finish sometime in late January, early February, but it's the middle of March now, and only now am I wrapping it up. I suppose I'm not on a professional schedule, no one's paying me to do it, but hmm? it's not what I wanted to do. But I suppose a big part of why the quality dropped is just perfectionism, you know? Perfectionism and the editing process, which is a real pain when you're a, when you're a perfectionist, because when I have to look over my videos, I'll notice, oh, I uh, stumbled over that word, or oh, I stopped to take a breath in the middle of that word, and now there's a big, uh, 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 you know. Where I missed a bit of the script and it was just me making noises or something like that. So after a while I said, well I can't not make videos at all. So I'll just try and make videos as fast as I can. And, in the, and what that meant practically was, well, these I started cutting down on as much of the work as I could, and in the process the videos got made quicker in about a day or two, but the quality would often take a sharp drop, unless it was something I was quite passionate about, you know, like the vampire video, I'm quite fond of that one. And I am grateful to what subscribers I do have, 31, that's fair old amount of subscribers for, well, something that's been very small and inconsistently updated, you know? I like to think I'm doing well. Anyway, here I am pushing myself to finish this, just kind of going off the cuff, maybe looking at a list of some notes, but I don't know, I'm just talking. But yeah, this is not the end of the channel. You know, I'm not saying I'm going to go away or anything. Huh, no. Just that I'm taking a break. Because I don't want this to get to the point where I'm literally doing this only because I have to. I have to do it, or rather, I feel like I want to do it because I want to. And to that end... You know, that means taking a step back now that I realize how much it seems to be, or was at least, weighing on me to the point where I just didn't want to do it a lot of the time and would procrastinate because thinking about making another video just seemed like such a chore, and it shouldn't. Anyway. But yeah, it's not the end. Just... It needs some time to take stock, seeing if I can, seeing what went wrong, where did this, what worked, what didn't, and how can I play to my strengths in future while covering my weaknesses. To that end, I have some plans to improve the channel, looking for someone to do channel art, not just for my YouTube channel with the backdrop and the profile picture, something for my Discord account, my Twitter, my Tumblr, my... Well, I don't really have any other places where I'm jack o lantern yet, but that might change. Anyway, it's just going to be about getting a, you know, a new coat of paint on everything so it looks better. And when I do come back, you know, adjusting my schedule, I try to get one video out a week. That wasn't really feasible. Now we're going to see about, can I do it one video every two weeks? 
Oh, and instead of editing videos myself, I'm going to see if I can get a more professional critic person, you know, an editor to do it for me, at least the more ambitious videos. Like if I feel I can sit through a, a small one, I'll do it. Maybe get background music that uh, doesn't involve copyright, can suck through that. Come back to uh, using actual video images, I guess. Commissioned from Runa. I'm sure they're wondering why I haven't commissioned them in a while. But yeah, all that's going to come. And when I'm back, you know, now that phase three is over, we're going to start working on phase three. I should say phase two. Phase three. I'm, uh, I'm just rambling here, but, you know, hopefully this makes sense. Anyway, uh, there, so phase one was 10 videos. Phase two was 15 videos. Phase three will be 25. And hopefully they'll be higher quality, higher production values, you know, just better all around with the benefit of my experience and knowing what I do well, what I don't, and what I can outsource to people who can do it better. Well, focusing on the things I actually like and I'm good at. But anyway, with that in mind, I will be making more collaboration videos and continuing with my existing series, some of which I ended up not touching after a while, just because, well, they putting aside that I would have to step up the uh, production value to make the videos I want to make, there's also the fact that, well, some of them are intended to be collaborative in nature. If only a, oh, I have, need a small voice for this, I don't want to use my own, I'll talk to one of my friends, see if they can record a few lines for me. But that will come, and while I'm away, you will hear me record at least one collaboration with Puppy Love Audio, who I've collaborated with twice already. Shout out to her. Working with her certainly rekindled my passion for it at a time when I was considering giving up. And maybe you'll start hearing my voice on other people's channels as well. We'll see. But anyway, for this I decided to do something I wouldn't normally do and record a public script. It's from Puppy Love herself, but I figured if I was going to go out on this note, might as well make it a good one. So thank you and I'm done rambling. Time for the proper video itself. Thank you. Welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> ah, man. Finally, a chance to get back on the ice. Been a while since I got to go skating. I suppose I could be a bit rusty, but... Uh, What's that thing they say about bikes and riding them? I'm sure I'll get back to the swing of it. Into the swing of it. <laughs> huh? Warning. Too warm for ice skating.
darn. Oh well, I guess there's always next time. Or, who knows, maybe it'll be next winter. They did say spring would be coming earlier this year. Hey, what the? Who is that? What are they do? Hey! Hello! Excuse me! Dang it, they can't hear me. Oh shoot, they fell into the ice! Hey! Hey, you all right? Whoa! Blue lips. Oh, that doesn't look good. I better get you to a hospital. Oh! Well, good to see you're finally awake. How are you feeling? Where are you? You're at the hospital. Called for an ambulance. Well, uh, I saved you from the freezing cold water. You know, you went out on the ice and it fell through. Yeah, it's a little cold in the water. Not cold enough that, uh, Safe to skate on, though. Oh, yeah. The doctors are trying to get your body temperature back up after I told them you fell through. They put you in the stretcher, in the ambulance. I asked to hitch a ride so I could go to the hospital with you. Why? Well, I was worried about you. I didn't know if you were going to make it. Plus, I was a witness. They wanted me to tell you everything about what happened. You know, the ambulance crew, the doctors. Yeah, you had an icy fall. Did you not get a warning about it? You know, on your phone, because I did, just a few seconds before you fell in, actually. No? Uh, well, maybe you went out too early to get it. It was the afternoon when Ike went there, and I got, got the notification too warm for ice skating. Tried to call out to you when I saw you, but I guess you couldn't hear me. Or maybe you did it hear me, but you didn't realize I was talking to you. But either way, couldn't get across. Oh no, no, you don't have to apologize. Doesn't matter now. You're safe. Your lips, they were blue when I pulled you out. They're not anymore. And you're not shaking, so I guess you warmed up. At least we have that. Uh, do you need anything right now? Not at the moment, huh? Well, okay. I just wanted to make sure you were fine, but... Oh, yeah, I'm glad you aren't a popsicle either. <laughs> Good to see you have a sense of humor about it. Uh, you know, I had the same thing that happened to you happen to me. The exact same thing. Well, when I was younger, I used to go ice skating in the winter 
ice skating on the lake every winter. Up to about two years ago, even. Sometimes, I'd even go to the skating rink. You know, one of those professional ones they set up in cities. Just to make sure I kept up with my game. Well, anyway, I was on the ice at one time, and it was chilly, but, well, I don't think you want to hear what happened in that story, but... Oh, you would? <laughs> well, I guess I could tell you, but I also think you need to rest now. I'd be happy to tell you at another time. Here's my phone number. suppose it is a bit of a risk giving my phone number to you but well you seem like a really cool person nah <laughs> sorry couldn't help myself but anyway you seem cool and maybe you could be a friend yeah yeah I'd like to be friends with you we could have a lot of fun I think but yeah here's my number Hopefully you can feel better, and when you feel better we can chat more. Well... Yeah, get some rest. Have a good day, night. Sure you'll be in here for a while, but anyway. I'll see you around sometime, okay? Yeah. Yeah, goodbye.